Today I'm going to be sharing with you my garden plans for this side of the yard. In this video, I'm just going to break down and show you guys what I have planned for this season. This area will be my main focus for this season and hopefully the budget can get it done. So here, we last stopped when we planted these five Green Giant Arborvitae last fall. And I'm going to, the plan is to extend this bed out to where you see this line, this curve right here. This is where the bed is going to stop or where it's going to start and go back in. It's about so it's about 10 feet from here, 10 to 12 feet from here to the back of the bed. It's about 10 feet deep. And right here where you see this crate, this is where I would like to have a bench. The bench is about four feet wide or four feet long. And then I'm going to have two stepping stones from the, the beginning of the bed to get into the bench. And I want the bench to feel like it's being suffocated by plants, literally being choked. That I mean, stuff like lasagna is going to be beautiful. I'm going to have grasses. The field I'm going for is tropical meat cottage. Came together, had a beautiful baby. So I'm going to have beautiful elements in this area as well with a cottage field. And then the bed is going to come on down this way, down towards the crepe myrtles. I'm going to clean up these crepe myrtles right here and extend the bed all the way down. And then we're gonna have a nice grass path right in this area. This is gonna be the grass path. And then we have this middle bed right here. I started to extend this bed. If you guys remember, it was a little bit small for all the plants that I had last season. So I started to extend this bed. All I did was edge the area. I started to put down the leaf bags. And then on top of the leaf bags, I'm going to put down compost, some soil, um, manure and mulch and leave it and I can plant in it immediately if I wanted to because I'm also going to mount up this bed to meet this height of this current bed. So I have clay soil so I have to, I decided to start making a uh, berm so it's easier to work with and easier on my back honey. I'm not going to throw my back out. So then on this side you follow the grass path and you come around I'm going to also have a path right in here. So you come around this way, there's going to be a path coming right here. And then on this side, on my left, I decided to put a bed in here as well. I have a rope trying to figure out the shape that I want for this area and all my clearance plants that I decided to plant in this space. So this is going to be a path, another path, and then the grass path come this way and back around here there's gonna be a path in here and this is also a bed with more clearance plants so that's the plan for this area I'm gonna have two big beds I wanted to feel like rooms in this space um, I thought about doing a gravel pathway because I like the sound of gravel underneath my feet but then as you can see I have my little ones, they love to run around and play. They're still young, so they do trip and fall. So I'm just going to keep the grass. I'm going to reseed in the empty spaces with some clover, more environmental friendly and pollinator friendly. And then back over here, behind this bed is my garden space. What, what is going what, Why you took your jacket off? Come on. Amira, what are you doing? <laughs> it's starting to rain, so let's see if I can wrap this up real quick. So on this side of the garden, we just left on that side where we're going to do the tropical meat cottage theme. So this is where I have six three by six raised beds where I plant my vegetables. Last year, last season, it, it didn't go as well. So this season, I'm going to step it up a notch and we're going to whip this area into shape. So the plan for this area is to put in a lattice fence about four feet high to keep out the stray cats, because I do have stray cats. Oh, careful! I'm going to put up a beautiful lattice fence in this area to fence everything in. And then I'm going to put up a nice arbor, the same arbor that I have by the fountain area. I'm going to put that up. It has a beautiful gate as well. And I'm just going to deck this area out. I'm also going to put down 
gravel, the same 57 stones that I use in the pathway and the fountain area. It's the same thing I'm gonna put down in here. So it's one less thing to worry about the weeds and the grass. For this area, the beds, they are not aligned properly. So I'm gonna have my husband straighten these out. So each path is the same width and they're all aligned. I'm also, I'm taking this out. I'm taking this cattle wire thing out. And this is where I'm gonna put the arbor instead of this. Or I might keep this and see if my husband can make a little fancy gate to match the fence that I have planned to put around here. I'm also going to leave this, my pole frame. Um, the greenhouse that I mentioned on my Instagram page is gonna go somewhere else. So that's the plan that I have for this season on my $3,000 budget. Fence and an arbor in here, grab a pathway, beautiful vegetables, I already have my garlic. Going on in here, I need to clean out the rest of this bed and get this area prepped. And then over here, we're gonna do everything else that we mentioned. So, just to recap, tropical cottage garden, Tropicana Cottage, over there with beautiful tropical plants, perennials, and annuals. So it's the first season. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using a lot of annuals from seeds and cuttings just to make that bed feel lush and green and beautiful. Yes. I also have a lot of clearance plants that I'm trying to get in the ground before I buy anything else. So I have enough plants to give me a good start for the tropical cottage theme garden. And, and we're going to whip this area up. The yard is a mess because between me and my husband, we have a lot of things to run around. But you guys know my before and afters are crazy, okay? I can whip a yard up in sh into shape. What is the problem? It's starting to rain. I'm gonna get these kids inside, cleaned up, and change their clothes and out of the rain. So thank you guys for watching, and that is the plan for this area. Next couple of videos, we're gonna get all the physical labor parts done before we can plant all the green things.